Gloria. Today I want to share with you a very delicious Mexican chiles rellenos in sour cream that I know that you guys are really going to love and enjoy. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. cream cheese, fresh cheese, oregano, garlic cloves, chicken bouillon, two large tomatoes. If you don't have large tomatoes, you could add four medium tomatoes, one carrot, one serrano chili. The chili is optional. Half an onion. And the poblano chili. This is everything we need for this delicious chile rellenos in sour cream salsa. So let's get started and let's make it at home and enjoy it with our family. I want to start here with my poblano chilies. We're going to go to the stove and we're going to start charting them. We want to make sure we char them from all the sides. This really takes a little bit of time, but you know something? These poblano chilies come out so delicious and the flavor is just amazing. Once you've charted just like this from all the sides, then I have a little plastic bag where I'm gonna start putting them so they could go into a sauna and start getting soft and tender. These are done and I'm gonna continue just adding them in this little bag and I'm gonna leave them in the bag for about five minutes so they get nice and soft and it's easier for you to peel the skin off. Let me let them rest for about five minutes. After the five minutes have passed, then I'm just gonna take them out of the little bag and I'm gonna take away all the skin. Let me start taking all the skin off once this is completely done, I'm going to cut it through the center and I'm going to start cutting the seeds out. I'm going to clean the chili very good from the inside. We don't want any seeds inside. Just like this. Let me show you how this chile poblano looks. You want to remove everything from the center on every single one. Once they are completely done and clean and they have no more seeds, then I'm gonna continue with my cheese. And I have cacique cheese, fresh cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the center a little bit of mozzarella cheese so it melts and it gives it such a delicious flavor. And on the top, I'm adding my queso fresco just like this and be generous with your cheese one by one until i finish adding all the delicious cheese inside adding of course uh, first my mozzarella cheese and then the mexican cheese cacique cheese okay these are completely done and now i am ready to start separating and cracking my eggs separating the whites from the yolk just be careful so the yolk doesn't explode and fall in into the whites. We're going to do one by one until I am completely done. After this process, you're going to blend it. So just make sure that none of your yolk go inside the, um, the clear liquid. And here I'm just going to add my whites and I'm going to start mixing until they're nice and frothy. After four minutes, look how it looks. It's getting nice and fluffy, and this is exactly how you want to see them. Once it's at this point where it's really, really fluffy, then I'm going to start adding my egg yolks. And I'm just going to add all the egg yolks at one time, and I'm going to mix one more time for about two minutes until everything is really nice and incorporated 
and the fold, of course, nice and fluffy. Look at this. It really takes about six to seven minutes before everything is really nice and incorporated from start to end. And you see those really small peaks. This is perfect. I have on my stove a pan already with very hot oil. And I'm going to start by putting my chili into the mixture of the egg. And be careful so the cheese doesn't come out at all. Once you do this, just add it into the hot and very hot oil so they start getting nice and brown. Let me continue. I'm going to do two at a time so we don't overcrowd the pan. Just make sure that the oil is nice and hot so that the egg doesn't absorb a lot of oil. Be putting a little bit of hot oil right in the center of the chili and then we're ready to flip them. You wanna brown them on each side, really nice and brown. When they are nice and brown, just like this, be ready. Have a plate ready with some napkins so that you could start adding the chilies right on top of there so that the napkin absorbs all that extra oil. Of course, we don't wanna add too much oil to our delicious dish. So I'm gonna continue with the rest until I am done. And here I'm gonna start by adding my tomatoes and I'm gonna go ahead and just Put them in this a skillet until they are nice and brown. I'm adding my garlic cloves, my half an onion, and of course, optional is the serrano chili. We're gonna leave it here until everything is nice and toasted from each side. I'm removing the garlic and the serrano chili, and these are gonna stay just for a little couple minutes, a little more, maybe three more minutes. Three minutes have passed and now I am ready to remove it because this delicious salsa is gonna come out amazing. We don't wanna add no water or no liquids to it. The tomatoes are nice and juicy. I have my cup blender here and I'm gonna start adding everything in here. I'm gonna add my chicken bouillon. Remember that the chicken bouillon is to taste and let's blend it until it's nice and smooth. When everything has been blended really well, that's when we're gonna start adding our cream cheese and we are going to add the sour cream. I'm adding one cup of sour cream. And let's mix one more time. This is completely done. I'm going to continue with my carrot. And I want to take the edges off. And then I'm going to start peeling it. Making sure that the, I get all the skin off. And then I'm going to cut in little squares. This is done. On my saucepan, I have very hot oil. Just one to two tablespoons of oil. And I'm going to start adding my delicious sauce and now I'm adding my carrots and they're gonna cook for about three minutes until the carrot is really nice and soft let me taste it to see if I need to add a little bit of salt but no to my tasting is fine now that it's boiling I'm adding my oregano right on the top I'm adding one tablespoon of oregano the oregano really gives a delicious flavor to this creamy sauce. Now I am ready to start adding my chiles rellenos. One by one and after you add them, you're just going to cook them for about three minutes and this is completely done. Let me show you. They look so delicious. The sauce is really nice and thick. And the oregano gave it a delicious flavor. Well, it already started boiling just like this. And I'm going to leave it here just for one to two minutes. And then this is done. I am ready for the presentation. I can't wait to taste it. So I'll see you in a bit.
with poblano chili in sour cream. You know, this sauce came out so delicious and so creamy and the oregano really gave it such a delicious flavor. I hope you can make it at home. But let me stop talking because I really want to taste this delicious chile relleno. You know that this is the part I really love and enjoy, tasting my recipes. I added some white rice with veggies that you already have on my channel. Let me see how this came out because I want to taste everything at the same time. Excuse me. Mmm. You know something, this chile poblano? And the cream, the sauce, the very creamy sauce, it just came out perfection. This is really good. I know that once you try, you're gonna continue making this delicious Mexican recipe. I hope my friends, you give it a try and enjoy it with your family like I enjoy it here with my family. If you liked and loved my recipe, please don't forget to subscribe leave me a thumbs up share my video on social media with friends with relatives so cooking with gloria keeps growing don't forget to push on the notification bell and if you did leave it activated so every time i make a delicious recipe yes you are going to be notified i share with you very delicious recipes on monday wednesday and friday thank you so much for watching this video and the rest of the videos before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying this delicious chile relleno and this creamy and delicious sauce. See you on my next delicious recipe. Bye-bye.